morning. Today we're coming to you from the 13th green at uh, Breezy Bend Country Club. Uh, the greens are in fantastic condition this year, thanks to our new superintendent, Tom Kowalczyk, and his great staff. Uh, but they could be that much better. On this 13th green alone, we have counted over 400 unrepaired ball marks that result in dead brown spots on the greens. So today we're going to go over the proper way of repairing our ball marks. So here we have uh, a ball mark that was made by a member or a guest of Breezy Bend and uh, either wasn't fixed at all or was uh, repaired improperly. It actually looks like this one here was someone tried to repair it but probably did a lifting technique as opposed to the technique that we're going to show you today. Uh, we really want to repair our ball marks otherwise we're going to just continue to have spots like these on the greens. So here we are, we've hit our shot in on the par 3 and uh, we have our ball mark. Uh, you want to use either a divot tool such as this or a, a golf tee will work as well. But what we want to do is come to the ball mark, around the, around the ball mark, dig in your tool and push to the middle. Okay? You want to work your way around the, the ball mark, pushing and turning to the middle. Okay? You'll then take your putter and tap down that ball mark. Okay? Common mistake we see is a lifting technique where we put the, the tool in and people lift up from the middle, but that's just improper. It actually, you want to look at the dead spot in the middle and push towards it and then tap it out. Okay, if we all fix one ball mark and one other on every green, uh, the greens are going to be in just that much better condition. 